Welcome into Blackhawks Post Game Live, presented by Hyundai. Steve Conroy, Pat Boyle with you. Predators won, so the Blackhawks are four points back of the fourth and final playoff spot in the Central. Let's get to the highlights in this one. We'll start with our Gerber Collision in Glass impact of the game. And for that, we go six minutes in, following a fantastic shift by the Kane line. Kinnestros and Kurchev in a board battle. Vinny comes out and sets up Kubalik for his 14. I like the battle mentality in the corner. First is Kershev, then it's Hinestroza, who actually bumps his man Gardner a little bit, gets him on the wrong side of the putt, and it's a bang-bang play. Perfect pass to Kubalik, who kind of faked out Delandria. Delandria is checking his right shoulder. He's on his left shoulder. The one-time pass across the body, which is always a tough shot, but Kubalik makes it. That's two goals in two games against Dallas, and he ties it at one. And that's where we stood going to the second period. Start of the second period, Hawks' power play was negated when Strom was called for interference. Bad call there. Four on four hockey. Zadora turns it over and then compounds it with uh, a missed assignment. Yeah, it's too bad. They had clear control of the puck. Zadorov was just trying to get it to Duncan Keith. The pass not hard enough or far enough in front. It gets picked off. Rupe hints uh, across to Robertson is wide open, and you're right. Zadorov had a chance to pick up Robertson in front. I think he was caught in between. He thought maybe the guy at the point might get it. He's not the dangerous guy. That guy is. Robertson makes him pay. First Midwest Bank momentum changer. After a Carpenter delay of game penalty, Dallas on the man advantage, up two to one. Good puck movement by the Stars. They work it around. Jamie Ben with the no look to Miro Heiskanen. He scores to make it three to one on the power play. Kirby Dock out there killing a penalty, but real good puck movement by this sixth ranked power play in the NHL. And I like the job by Jamie Ben, kind of looking like he was going to pass it out front to Pavelski. Instead, he gives it back to the trigger man, Haskinen. He's got a rocket. He doesn't stop it. He just steps into it one time or a high riser. And that beats Lankin and cleanly over the glove, a power play goal. To change your business momentum, talk to First Midwest Bank. So it's three to one late in the period. And, uh, we talked about the self-inflicted wounds. It was yet another one that led to Blake Como's goal. Uh, Duncan Keith trying to walk the line and toe picks. It happens. Uh, game, hockey's a game of mistakes, and Duncan Keith, one of the best skaters in the NHL, he was trying to change his angle a little bit along the blue line, try to find somebody who might get open. Blackhawks win another battle along the boards. Now, just get it to the middle of the ice, better place to shoot it from, but unfortunately he trips. Looked like his heel got stuck in the ice there, and uh, he tried to poke it past uh, Cogliano. He gets it up ice to a streaming Como, a streaking Como, and there you see the uh, pass, a perfectly placed to Como, who's got his head up, and that's another good shot, just up over the glove of Lankin. And so, just like that, a couple of turnovers by defensemen, both end up in the back of the net, and all of a sudden, it's a 4-1 hockey game for the Dallas Stars. As I mentioned, the, the numbers, uh, other than the final score, a lot of them in favor of the Blackhawks as they uh, had uh, five on five scoring chances, 29 21 in favor of the Hawks, five on five high danger chances, 13 10 for the Blackhawks. Does that surprise you when you hear those numbers? Well, maybe if you just watch the second and third periods, but the first period was a dominant period, I thought, by the Blackhawks, even though the score was 1-1. Here's what happens, though. When you turn a puck over, when you've got clear possession, which the Blackhawks did a couple of times, everyone's thinking offense. And when you turn it over, the other team gets going the other way, you're in bad defensive position. And that's what happened on both of those plays. So uh, that's why, you know, coaches just hammer away at puck management, make the safe play, make the hard play, and that didn't happen in the second period. Dominic Kubalik, the lone goal for the Blackhawks on this night he's addressing the media let's take you there now on Blackhawks post game live presented by Hyundai Dominic good evening we'll begin with questions and we'll go straight to Phil Thompson with the Chicago Tribune Phil your line is active please leave it off thank you Dominic uh, how do you uh, make sense of this loss after how you performed against them in the previous game well uh, obviously a huge game for us you know uh, uh, we need those games. I think uh, the first period was uh, was pretty good, and then uh, they scored a couple on the on the power play, and uh, we just didn't respond. So, so uh, obviously uh, frustrating, you know. 
but uh, uh, we got to let it go, uh, you know, learn from it and, and be ready because, you know, the games are coming and, uh, uh, you know, every single game is huge right now. How do you think, um, well, what do you make of the uh, performance with Vinny and how you guys have connected on back-to-back -back games here? Well, I think uh, that's a good thing, you know. Uh, I felt like right away from the first game, we uh, we kind of know what to expect from each other. So, so that's uh, that's always nice. That's uh, uh, you know very positive, you know, to stay with it and uh, just keep it rolling like that. You know, we gotta uh, bring in next game again. Next question will come from Charlie Romaliotis with NBC Sports Chicago. Charlie, please go ahead. Hey, Dominic, uh, what's not working with the power play right now? And, and how demoralizing is it that you guys can't generate momentum on, on there when it was so successful early in the year? Well, I think uh, I think it's all it's like always when the power play is not is not working. Just, uh, you know, just try to make it simple. Just shoot the box to the net, you know, don't try to find like a magic pass. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. So so you just got to shoot it, be in the, be the net, you know, have a, you know, one or two guys there on the net and put like a greasy goal there. Uh, that's uh, that's that's going to bring it back. So, so uh, yeah, I think we should start uh, shoot more a little bit and then uh, have some guys around and, uh, I'm pretty sure we have uh, we have uh, you know a, lo a lot of great players to uh, to figure it out. So so uh, yeah. Uh, how tough is it to be losing these games on special teams? Thinking back to that Nashville game too, where maybe you guys outplay them five on five, or it's pretty even, but it just comes down to special teams success. Yeah, like I said, it's frustrating. You know, it's just uh, uh, you know. You want to play those games, you know, you want to be in it, you want to win them. And then, uh, you know, uh, there's just, uh, I think uh, I like a lot of things about our game tonight. And I just think that, uh, you know, that uh, we had some power plays. Uh, uh, we, we didn't uh, use them too much. So, so uh, like you said, you know, those uh, uh, special teams are huge. And, and uh, like I said, we need to learn from it and, uh, and be better next time. Next question will come from John Deep with the Daily Herald. John, please go ahead. Hey, Dominic, I wanted to follow up on the power play because you guys had one that I think you passed the puck around for quite a while, like 30 seconds maybe. Is there, why do you think there is a reluctance to shoot? Is it a fact you guys not have the lanes? Or like you said, even if the lane may not be there, you've just got to give it a shot. Yeah, uh, that's uh, probably a great example. You know, uh, we, had a, we had a power play. Uh, we were in their zone. Uh, and we just didn't shoot that much uh, how we uh, how we shoot. And uh, for me, uh, you know, I think uh, like I said, maybe just just throw it there. You know, you can you can hit someone. You know, make something happen out of it. That's uh, always when the things not not going your way. That's that's how you're gonna bring it back. So so uh, uh, yeah, I think just make it simple. Shoot more, and and uh, it's gonna come. Like you don't, you don't feel like you have to defer to Debrinket or Kane, right? I mean, you know how good your shot is, and that you can, you feel free to shoot it, obviously, when you want, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I mean, uh, just like, it's all about the reads, you know. Uh, I think we had, we had one guy around the net, uh, but not very in front. So, so I think uh, that's a big thing too. Uh, then we just try to, you know, uh, get them moving a little bit, and uh, didn't really open up. So. So, uh, like I said, uh, just got to stick with it and then sh shoot more and get those uh, uh, rebound goals and tips and, and stuff like that. Final question will come from Ben Pope with the Chicago Sun-Times. Ben, your line is active. Please go ahead. Hey, Dominic. Uh, Nashville won again tonight. Has it been frustrating to look up in the standings every day and, and see them keep winning and the deficit to that playoff spot get a little bit further and further? Like to be honest, I don't really look at the standings now. I think uh, I think it's all about us. Uh, how, uh, how we gonna play? And uh, uh, I think we got still still a lot of games in front of us. And uh, I think uh, if we're gonna be uh, playing the way uh, we need to play, uh, I think uh, we're we're in a good spot. So so uh, yeah, I think that's just what it is right now. And we got uh, uh, a lot of games in front of us. We just need to be ready for the next one. Thanks, John. Take a look at our Illinois Lottery power play. The Blackhawks were 0 for 3 on the man advantage. Some partial power plays uh, do to some calls during those man advantages. Dallas ends up going 2 for 3. And the thing about this is, Steve, the Blackhawks PK had held Dallas 1 for 15 in the first five meetings. Tonight, 
a completely different story. They get seven shots on goal and cash in on two of them. Yeah, they were winning face-offs in the offensive zone. When you do that, you start with puck possession. Uh, they moved it around pretty well, and then they were getting the puck to the net. And when you know the puck's going to the net, you're going to get bodies there, too, and that's exactly what happens with Rupe Hintz. You know, even though it looked like Jamie Benn was going to score into a wide-open net, two defensemen should not be in the corner. Benn should have probably scored here. Not too sure if that was a save by Lankinen, but Rupe Hintz knows the puck's going to the net. I'm going to go there, too. And, uh, you know, 80% of the goals in the NHL are scored off of rebounds and from about 5 to 10 feet out. That's where Hintz is, and uh, Rupe Hintz had himself a game. Is that one goal and three assists? That's right.